Wait, this time I'll actually load it. <laughs> yeah! Eric. It's Spime. Whatever the fuck Spime is. Oh. Somewhere in American Southwest near Route 66. This is this is a road. This is very much a road. <laughs> that was a scorpion. Sally's Diner. They have that 3D effect in the back over there. Mm, those were some good pancakes. So glad I came out tonight. It's getting late though. I'd better make a stop at the restroom real quick before hitting the road. Uh, sure, I'll leave a tip. I'll be kind. Jesus Christ! The bowl just tore apart everything. I should really hit the restroom first. Be well, where's the fuck's the fresh shroom? Ah. The way she watching oh, him piss. What the fire? fuck? And you want me to put it out? Well, if my country <laughs> needs me. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I'm sure what has happened. Every time I try to leave the diner, I end up right back inside. Leaving this notice proof to myself. Proof that I can't. What's this? Some kind sure of note? Every time I leave this diner, I end up. I wonder who left it. Back, right back inside. I'm leaving this note as some kind of proof to myself. Proof that I can't possibly be returning to the same place. It's hard to imagine even writing this. I know I'm how moving around works. One foot in front of the other, same as it's always been. So, why the hell am I not going anywhere? Oh, and a guy from Blue's Clues. Yeah, what's up with the, the buffalo just gushing blood? <laughs> Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Wrong room. Better get out of here before someone sees me. Oh. <laughs> that was the women's restroom. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's strange. It seems to be locked. But I just came through it not two seconds ago. And didn't I just leave out the back door? Oh, what the fuck? That's uncomfortable. Oh, it's a pair of six sting creatures. Oh my god! <laughs> That's literally a CP610 right there. And isn't that a picture of the rake? <laughs> Find it funny how I was making a joke about SCP-610 and they literally put it in the game. <laughs>
Oh, I can freeze to death. That's not good. <laughs> I have no idea where that's from. So the paintings are still changing. Oh, the 610 painting got removed. I wonder if I go in any other doors or anything different happen. Um. <laughs> yes! Am I going crazy or something? Hello? Can anyone hear me? The answer is simply yes. Something different will happen. I'm sorry, did I just hear Peter Griffin? No. No. Oh my. Holy crap. I'm Peter Griffin. Interdimensional travel and you. Hello, and welcome to the exciting world of interdimensional travel. It can be pretty exciting to wander the mysterious landscapes of the multiverse, but it can also be dangerous. Remember to always follow the interdimensional rules and regulations when passing between possibility scapes. To begin the instruction, insert tape now. Find more projection units. Should have stayed away from that beyond section. Okay, so there's nothing in here. I can't believe I got turned into Peter Griffin. <laughs> Boy, am I fast. I'm fast for my sprint. <laughs> oh, am I no longer Peter Griffin? Oh. It's useful for information to know now. dimension. Oh, come on. Wait, where are they going?
judge me, please. See you later, bitches. What's this? Another note. Wonder it's a snow good. Every time I try to leave this damn place, so I'm not in it right back in it. inside. The interest never ledges. It always puts me back in the interest. What is going on? Oh shit! Ooh, okay. Okay. I would love to find more tapes, except for the very fact I have little me's running around. Again. Okay, so they only appear in certain areas. So this is a safe area. Okay. Whew. And a cash. She don't surprise money. Fuck you. What the fuck? Oh, come on! Okay. I'm safe now. Where are the other tapes gonna be? To breathe. What was that? I heard a, I heard a voice. What the hell? <laughs> oh shit. It'll go easier for both of us. You know someone's there, and it'll be easier Why to don't just come out. It? It's fine. What is this struggle? Am I dying? I already know. No one. Oh, well, I didn't get to read that. I just kept hearing voices. I didn't like it. Fundamentals of moving through the multiverse. Imagine an ant crawling it's, it's across a sheet of paper. Really, it, it, it we can think of the paper it. as representing a plane of existence, and the ant is us. Technology has finally progressed to the point where it is now possible to connect different planes of existence, the same way we can connect two or more sheets Fucking of paper. Useless. Just as the ant moves from page to page, you too can travel from existence to existence. Insert tape for more information. What the hell? Oh shit! The fuck? Oh hell yeah! Come here, bitch. One more. Where are you, crap? They'll kill me if I don't find you. What the heck is that thing? I'd better find somewhere to hide fast. I'm dead. Where the fuck am I? It just took my weapon, you fucking dick.
What the hell? Please don't judge me. Please. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you. And see you later, bitch. <laughs> I get big brain. Oh, wait. Now I'm turning into one of them. Oh. Well, that's you kind of smart. Tape. Tape C. Avoiding paradoxes. Our actions as interdimensional travelers can echo unforeseen consequences across the farthest reaches of infinity. Therefore, we must tread carefully to avoid setting into motion any event that could alter the course of other planes of existence. Remember, the care and maintenance of other worlds and their inhabitants is everyone's responsibility. Refer to the handbook, The Do's and Do Not Do's of Interdimensional Travel, that ship with your device for more information. Now, I'm gonna start murdering things. The fuck? See you later, bitches. <laughs> Outsmarted your asses. Cape D. Fifth Dimensional Travel 101. As a user of 5D technology, your capabilities for passage stem beyond our fifth dimensional status to lower levels of existence. Think back to the idea of an ant traveling along a sheet of paper. Imagine now if the paper were to be rolled up so that both ends are now touching. As the ant moves from one end of the sheet to the next, a loop is created. Inhabitants of this existence are bound to the sheet as their forms are governed by the laws of this dimension. As a fifth dimensional traveler, however, you are free to cross to any point on any plane at any given moment. Such freedoms must be tempered with caution, as failure to act within the safety guidelines could disrupt not only the currently occupied possibility space, but rupture adjacent planes of existence as well, causing ah. great rifts to echo across the infinity sphere. Travel with caution. Okay. Probably won't then. Fucking thing? <clears throat> See you later, bitch. Alright, there ain't nothing in here. And, aha! Hey, e. Enforcement of interdimensional safety laws and regulations. In order to maintain balance between planes of existence, Special enforcers, commonly referred to as quantum keepers, are dispatched to nullify any paradoxes that may arise. The sole purpose of these creatures is to track down any paradoxical entity that can present itself within a looping timescale. 
once any threat is eliminated, they simply fade from existence and convert to dark matter state until the need calls upon them again, repeating the cycle as necessary. Though frightening in appearance, the Quantum Keeper plays a crucial role in protecting against paradoxes that may otherwise spread to surrounding planes of existence and restore order to the multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it was because I started killing them that that fucker appeared. Judge me, please. <laughs> I'm going it one way or another. I know someone's there. There's too many. Wookie. And and they make us kill intruders. Wookie. Still too many. They make me in everything I see! Both of us. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't kill the craze but stabber. Craze but stabber kills you, bitch. something I was doing. I don't understand. Maybe this will clear things up. Remember this? That's... Is that me? In a way. I'm not like you, you know. Where I come from, all possibilities exist both all at once and not at all. I don't expect you to understand. Your kind simply can't. But I've come to realize I made a big mistake, and I must spend the rest of what you call forever fixing that mistake. You're... you're going to be doing this... forever? No, silly! <laughs> Just for what you call forever. Forever's not as long as you think it is. But that's not for you to understand. Not now, anyway. Will I ever understand all that's happened here? Perhaps, in time. But right this second, wouldn't you rather leave this place? I... yes. Then go. Out the front door this time. Go before you end up leaving out the back again. Go. You are the one who leaves. Read him. I mean, that was actually a fun game. It's fans, but experience play alone in the dark environment. Well. Dark as you can get. Yeah. Anyways. Killer. Don't kill her too. Don't kill her 
Chapter 3! What the fuck? Thursday the 12th. I think we'll, we'll go from first to, to last. After Midnight is a horror thriller experience ba based on the horror movies of the 90s. Brad is home alone every night and has his snow fathers, and his mother works in a hospital on, on a night shift. After getting some unknown messages on your cell phone, things start to get really weird. Enjoy the shit out of this, especially if there's a case <laughs> they made the poop killer a series. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. This is Sammy. Press tab to access. Brad, don't go to bed too late. Remember to lock the doors. Unlock. Lock. Okay, so that door is locked. Hey, let's see. Is there anything else around here that needs to be locked? Nope, everything's locked. Guess I'm good to go. Hmm. Guess I have to explore. That's our pills. Turn lights on or something, then activate the TV. No, what the fuck? Be our patron. Huh, they might have a Patreon. Ew. Hmm. I'm actually kind of confused as what they did. I'm an idiot. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Dinner's on the oven. Don't open the door to anyone. All right, thanks, Mom. Hmm. 
Now I'm going back to work. I love you, Sue. I love you, son. Until tomorrow, I love you, Mom. Which is sad. God damn it. Forgot where did you say dinner dinner was? Now she said kitchen. Where? I just go upstairs now. I I don't know. So pretty much I interacted with everything in the kitchen. Nothing activated. This is spoiled. Better throw it in the trash. Good thing I'm not hungry. Ah, oh, how dare you, you ruined spaghetti. How dare you. Ignore the sounds you're hearing. But again, how fucking dare you. Ruin spaghetti. I don't want to sleep yet. I'm going to watch a movie. Ah. I can't even tell what's going on. little boy. Oh, hi, Hatchet. I don't like the context of being called a little boy. <laughs> I don't like this. Who is it? How do you have my number? <laughs> 
I'm a friend. Your night will be special. I am... I am getting bad thoughts in my head. <laughs> they shouldn't be there. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. My dad is a police officer and he's here. You don't have a fa father, Brad. And you're all alone. After midnight, I meet you. <laughs> well, damn! Damn! Shot's been fired! Please, please leave me alone. Everything seems fine. Shit. I'll see if the doors are locked. Okay, that's locked. If the other door's over here. Oh, shit. You love... You're, you are... You are an loser. Or... Oh, gee. Damn, I'm getting paranoid. Probably, <laughs> probably, yeah. Like, <laughs> doors. I think I, I get some sleep. Did you should just see the person run by through the window? You are a dumb fucking kid. Also, why are you not calling the cops? Well, Hatchet, if, I, if you don't see me tomorrow streaming, um, it's because this little kid's a fucking moron. <laughs> that is surprisingly very stupid. <laughs> You couldn't ring the bell at this time of night. Why are you investigating? <laughs> That's what they want. Nobody. Very strange. Midnight. Oh, whoops. Hit the wrong button. My flashlight, which is in my room. Oh, I don't like this. This you show that children tend to not be the smartest people in the world. This is the whitest of all idiot children. <laughs> Bad time to run out of energy, huh? What does this guy want? I'll check if everything's okay. That door. That door's still locked. Okay, I don't like this. This can only be a joke. New SMS from mommy. Only go up here. Check it. Brad's power went out in the entire city. Is everything okay? I'm so scared. I received some unknown messages. She locked the doors? Don't worry. It must be someone playing a prank. I don't like that, Mom, but I saw someone hanging around our house. So don't even think about leaving the house. Mom needs to get back to work. Alright, I'll be fine. You're the... 
What? <laughs> I would be hoping popping between Robinson and your stream, but wait, so I might miss some stuff here and there. That's fair. <laughs> what this is? Well, the doors are locked. You'll be fine. It's not like they can break through the glass windows. Where's proof that your word goes to? <laughs> yeah. Very sleepy. But I won't sleep in this darkness. Well, where's your power breaker? <laughs> I think it's what it's called. I don't know. I'm not a tech person. Don't tell me it's outside. Oh. Glad the energy's back. Well, that's not creepy in the slightest. I prefer no lights. I like the dark. Do not go to sleep. I'm. W Do not go to sleep. I'm waiting for you to sleep. Okay, that's so. <laughs> I want to say that crazy man, man be damned. Hatchet, I'm going to die. <laughs> Hello? This one broke the back door glass. Yeah, no shit. You have a phone. Call the cops. Okay. I'm inside your house. Hey, how did you f- It's still locked, so how did you fit inside the, the, the little, little red squares? What the fuck? Okay, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Fuck that. I have to go in there, don't I? I don't wanna. Well. Shit, today it's gonna be hard. Just kidding. Dick. Night, child. Sorry to knock on your door so late at night. Who are you? Are you the one trying to scare me? Scare you? Oh no, my car broke down around the corner. I need help. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Come on, boy. I just need to go in and use your phone. Are you home alone? Father's here. He's sleeping. I'm sorry, but I can't. But I really can't help. Please, boy, let me in. It's very cold in here. It's very cold in here. 
I didn't know outside was an inside place. Anyways, and I'm all wet. Fuck off. I cannot help. Please go away. I ain't dying. And plus, I don't even see a car. Oh, wait, I see a car. <laughs> you drove it off the road and into some plants. Sounds like you, you don't like helping people. Oh no, not again. I'm gonna keep all doors locked. That's not. And that's locked. Everything's locked. Brad, answer me. It's urgent. Hi, Mom. What happened? Neighbor called me and said he saw someone coming into the house. I'm alone here, Mommy. Someone broke the glass in the back door. Neighbor called the police. If anything happens, hide in your under your bed. All right, Mom. Don't worry. Investigate, aren't I? <laughs> okay, okay. Under the bed. Under the bed. Why did I drop the flashlight right there? It's so blatantly obvious. Stay hidden, obviously. <laughs> Stephen was given away a hiding place. Maybe getting out from under bed would have been better. back it here. Let's see what happens if I let him in. What's next to it? 
I'll go upstairs to the bathroom to get you a towel. Sarah brought the towel. And this is where I die, don't I? Sir? You let me in. God damn it, I knew it was him. He opened the door to a stranger and paid a high price for it. The white faced killer forgives no one. I click this. I don't know where next to hide. What was the name of the game again? After Midnight. So give me a moment. I need to do something as well. Oh. Well, that's simple enough. I just go out the front door. <laughs> Sorry about that. As well as I, uh, I had to... There's a second flashlight. <laughs> Sorry that I also had to uh, calm down the puppy while I was doing that. So let the door open. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. Got the police arrived. Hmm. It says assassin noticed the arrival of the police and ran away. You survived. Except Woo! I beat all endings. Fuck you. Okay. Endless Days is a horror game with a PS1 inspired graphics. The game takes place in 1975 when you control a lighthouse keeper working isolated on an island. We seek to convey a feeling of extreme solitude and a very deep ambiance.
Wait, this sounds... Wait, this looks kind of familiar. Sorry about diving down. I dropped something. Oh no, it was just a, sa a siren that sounded familiar. The lighthouse is way different than the lighthouse game I played. Marco, hey, right. thanks, Dylan, for for taking the job. It, it's really hard to find lighthouse keepers these days. Good luck, Dylan. Last lighthouse keeper is gone. We searched all over the place, but we haven't found any leads on him. Shout out to Sebastian. We want to scare the new lighthouse keeper on the first day. Incidentally, the former lighthouse keeper was a little crazy. It's assured, Dylan, Sebastian will be here with you for the first week. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, something went down wrong throat. I mean, wrong pipe. Why the fuck did I say wrong throat? <laughs> was I shoving something down up someone else's throat and made me cough? Anyways, to make sure you're okay. We need to go soon. There's a storm coming. Hold tight. Tight, Dylan. It's six months of solitude attending to the lighthouse. What the fuck did I just come back to? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm not sure if you can tell. Who are these characters? <laughs> I think they're the names of the developers. What the fuck is going on? Anyways, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this is actually the trash horror collection. It's a collection of multiple... Uh, indie horror games by this same group of people. I am scared. <laughs> also, look at his lip. You can see the hair trying to establish itself right here. But can't. Oh god, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I told you to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he looked down and checked. I don't... <laughs> you can go. I'll show Dylan the place and explain the duties. Pick me up in one week. Good luck with your new... With your new Dylan job. <laughs> and remember, the light can't go out. <laughs> Good luck with your new Dylan job. <laughs> Come on, Dylan. I'll show you your new home. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> In a fat chest. <laughs> There's something so awfully about a photorealistic character, but that is spelled in a PS1 character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir, you are slow as fuck. I can run literal circles around you. <laughs> you can count the pop. <laughs> oh my god, hatchet. Scare the birds. Get the fuck off my island, birds. It's my... Bitch, where the fuck you think you're going? Oh. I thought... I thought people lived inside the lighthouse, but I guess not. Get the fuck off my property. This is your new home, Dylan. Let's go inside. Where are the beds? Ah, uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I 
don't have much, much to explain, Dylan. The job is simple. You only need to wind that lighthouse twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, when the light goes out. I want to get some sleep. The, tr the trip makes me very tired. Keep everything in order. <laughs> I think you scare your brethren. Fuck off. Why do you look high off his ass? <laughs> I don't know. Get the fuck off my island. Off my island. Locked, I need the key. Well, where the fuck's the key? Probably back in the house. <laughs> I just slept without the key. Wait, why can I not run anymore? Okay, there we go. Hello, sir. <laughs> Okay, we don't go to sleep just yet. Are there any issues? This this is a very good setting for a horror premise. Yeah. Wait till you find out one of the games is named Poop Killer. Locked need key. Is this actually how lighthouses work? What? <laughs> Very tired. I'm gonna get some sleep. At least until the light goes out. Ah. Bye now. <laughs> Bookworm. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bookworm's probably not even here. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Any <Annie> crouch mechanics. Let the night's out. And that was a Terrian light jog. And turning the <laughs> Too high for me. Oh, a lantern. I am playing Amnesia to Dark Descent. Oh, hold on. Okay. How do you exist without trying to live here in the United States for over 20 years? You, you don't know how lighthouses function? That's technically later lighthouses. Oh, 
also the only lighthouses that would go in a complete circle were ones that were on small islands. Which, while some were on small islands, not all of them were on small islands. The light exists to make sure people do not crash in the dark. Oh. You said Fracture Island? Fracture. Last time you saw him, he was in bed, right? Blood is not in bed. Blood is not near the bed. Oh. Don't, don't say that he was, like, taken. What? They put the lighthouse that is near where you live. Oh. Then why did you say there was one near your house? Fucking shit. Great, this is a serious question. I would not I'd normally not ask anyone this that lives in the United States, but you are a magical woman. Have you ever had a corn dog? Oh, Corn dog. Dog. Okay, that's fine. Have you had a chili dog? Why don't you look further from the house? Can you break out of the cutscene? You didn't even go to bed, did you? No 
it's not. You you didn't look around it, like far enough before like going to the bedroom. Welcome. What? Are you saying the lighthouse ate Sebastian? All I did was well. Well, how are you going to... My name is Dylan. If you're reading this letter, I'll be dead already. Sebastian disappeared, and I'm alone on island. I discovered a passage inside the lighthouse. This place is strange, and it is draining my energies. Today, I will go to the passage in the lighthouse to try to discover something. I guess the character you were playing before is also eaten. I don't even know the gender of the current lighthouse keeper you're playing. Stefan sounds like such a vague name. It could go either way. Not all female characters have giant racks. So like I said, it could go either way. We do not know the gender of this character. Stefan is a very gray dame. There's probably peace somewhere. Maybe if you can find it, you can avoid Stefan being another victim. Conveniently blocked by boxes.
Bye, Hatchet. Have fun. Do not die. God damn it. OBS. What did you? <laughs> well, that's gonna be funny. Why did he get into a video? Only Cheery is speaking. Oh, it didn't have your voice in it. Oh, is it? Anyway, uh, Hatchet, I hope your stream does well. And, and I hope you have a wonderful stream. Anyway, yeah, take care. I am so mad that OPS kept me muted. How long were you muted? I was muted on OBS, which means they could hear me on stream, but you could. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. How long were you muted? Probably uh, once they came back on, <laughs> came back to play the game. So probably only for a few few minutes. Oh. Wait, I see something glowing in the distance. It might be the key. Try not to die. Try not to oh. die. I need something to remove the woods. Like an axe. Or a hatchet. Hey, hatchet, you come back. I have a hatchet that's very good at chopping wood. <laughs> You didn't hear what I said. No, I didn't. I said, Hatchet, come back. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Shit, Echo. Looks like something's stuck in it. <laughs> A chest key? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can get. Nature itself is saying, "Get the fuck out of there." Now I can shut this key deep between the chest. You know what? I think I know the the gender of the character you're playing. Needs help. <laughs> nice. Mm. Is this? Oh, it's the crow key. Yeah, hey, I used. But anyways, uh, let's go down here. Crow All right. Are very good at ripping off wood. Yeah, but it's also a weapon now. It's very dead and useful to stab someone in the face and rip their face apart. They're not going to say anything about that. Well, many people have used it on other faces, so... Oh! There's no wood! What? Oh. Those are three holes that fit something into it. Okay, we got a crow key. Now what? I can't interact with the other two holes. I guess I gotta go find it. Alright, 
first I'm going to check within the lighthouse. Nope. So the other two pieces are outside somewhere. Alright, let's go over and check the house. Let me get out of this rain and lie down. Oh, I probably don't take care of it. This night. Are you this... sure if you fall asleep you won't die? I don't know. I'll find out. What the fuck? Oh, there's a person. Probably avoid the person that you found. Oh, there's two people. Oh, and there's three, actually. Oh, there's just more and more people. Oh! Oh! Hello! Okay, so people are needed for this night house. People are not needed for the lighthouse. People are just psychopaths. Kill anyone who tries to turn you into offering for the lighthouse. Lighthouse is love, lighthouse is life. No. <laughs> Let's look at my items. Yeah. So I got a key to something. Now that I think about it. There might be something around here. Now I can unlock. So far, I see nothing. Hmm. There has to be something. What the hell is this? Aha! No! Oh! Oh! Well, I found a bunch of corpses as well as the, the key. Fuck off my island. <laughs> Jerry, this is no bird island. Uh, all birds must be killed on sight. Does that mean it's gonna kill you? Oh, fuck off. I'm not gonna die. And back. Oh, I remember this like this game. That birds are, are the only dinosaurs we have left? Possibly. Anyways, shoot, this is a different lighthouse game than the one I played before. Well, we don't know how many lighthouse games Q has watched on their own. True. Just have Cheery eat the birds. 
Hannah has a question. Do sea snakes eat birds? I don't see snakes. Sea snakes eat fish. But can they? I, I don't know if they eat birds. But can they eat a bird? I'll actually look that up. <laughs> Apparently, some sea snakes do eat birds. Oh, they're just fish with feathers, and I live on land, says Jim. So sea snakes don't eat mice, they do not eat rats, they will eat birds, and they will eat fish. Which means you'll eat birds, Jerry. You'll eat the birds. <laughs> I don't feel like eating those birds. <laughs> Let's say it's coming from under the rug. There must be something hidden. Finally! Interact? <laughs> I... I do it. Did you get this option because you saw the three bodies before? Awesome. It looks like you have all three keys now. Oh, the second I pick it up, a thunderstorm. That's great. <laughs> We're performing the ritual, Jerry. And Bright, why are your model's eyes shadowed? Because I'm playing horror games. Deal with it. <laughs> I don't know why I got this attitude today. Two. Bright have, have never tried root beer until today. Can't read baby. Shut up. I did it. Oh. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on here? People I are used for the you. lighthouse. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> I thought that was the end where I die. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck this. Fuck this. We're gonna eat there. I'll try to come back later. Don't fall too much break. I try not to. I am out of here. So you open the door and now you run? Fuck yeah, I'm not gonna die. That's valid. Funny thing is, it's probably gonna tell me to go to sleep in the bed. I would not sleep in that bed after finding that shit. Oh, nope. Good, run. Try to find a boat leading off. So far, no boat. You haven't even gotten to the edge yet. Oh. I probably have to get close to them for them to, like, you know, interact. So I didn't get to the well, point that... Take out your crowbar if you plan to get close to them. Oh, yeah, I could use my crowbar. Possibly. Why is the pacifist the one thinking about the crowbar? <laughs> oh yeah, you missed it. A game where it was like doing an infinite loop of stuff. Like dimensions and stuff like that. And... Did you miss the infinite loop to get to the game where... People are sacrificed 
to the lighthouse by psychopaths that live under it. Oh no, this is a different game. This... I know, I'm saying I missed one game that sounds less bloody and psychopathic for one that is more bloody and psychopathic. It was in a diner, not a lighthouse, but um... It was basically infinite loop with dimensions. And there was one loop where I got turned uh, into. Crowbar! Fuck! It didn't even. Where the fuck did my lantern go? It didn't matter. They're too. The second they touch you, you're dead. I notice. Why aren't they noticing? They stopped. Okay, okay, friend, 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 friend. Woo! The fuck was that? Thing going crazy. I'll get some sleep. I told you, Jerry. I got it again. My character just wants to go to bed. Told you. Oh yeah, and this is probably I'm where I die. Okay. Okay, it's just a room. Oh, hi. You're in the house. I'm dead. Yeah. Will they go to the next victim? Or is this a game over? Oh, the game's not over yet. Is it still night? Oh my god, what is happening to me? You're not dead! Congrats! You sure? Ah, no, no, that's the same. So the lighthouse needs f red flesh meat it to operate. Just because there are psychos under there doesn't mean it needs blood. It means there are psychopaths under there. Oh yeah, sadly psychopaths are more dangerous than any supernatural event. The lighthouse keep her an actual job. Yeah. Fun fact, people used to go insane from a mix of isolation and the chemicals that, that would be burned in the lighthouse to keep the light up. Mercury used to be used. So. The mercury and the isolation would turn them crazy. <laughs> that sounds like you died. My house needs to be powered. Only then will it bring our light. Our job is to remain order at all costs. We are the lighthouse keepers.
And that's it. Endless days is done. That's stupid. <laughs> Don't think about it. There's so many horrifying real like realistic things they could do with the lighthouse. They picked the lazy, less terrifying options. <laughs> 